Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to implement binary search and how it works. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel that will motivate us to create more videos like this and share the knowledge among the audience. So let us start with the videos. So can you tell me what is the different, uh, what are the different ways to search an element into an array? Uh, there are two ways we can search uh, an element in an array. The first one is linear search and the second one is binary search. So linear search is where you sequentially uh, traverse your elements in the array and when you find the element, uh, you return the element. In binary search, uh, you perform uh, differently. But uh, in case of binary search, uh, the array must be sorted. In case of linear search, it can be sorted or unsorted. So there is a prerequisite for binary search that array must be sorted. Okay. So can you write the code uh, to show how the binary search works and uh, can you implement it? Uh, yes. Uh, one more thing. Uh, the time complexity of linear search is O of n and the time complexity of uh, binary search is O of log n. Okay. So let me, let me show you how to implement a binary search. So I'm going to write main method first, okay? And uh, let's try to implement a uh, binary search, but before implementing a uh, binary search, I'll try to show you how it works. So consider an example. There are elements uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, and 60. So these are the six elements. Uh, and these elements are in sorted order. So we have 10, then 20. So they are sorted in ascending order. Now, uh, the element that you want to search is known as key in binary search, or you can call anything, but generally it is known as key. Uh, for example, a key is 20. Okay, so as we know, the uh, elements are sorted. In that case, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to call the first element uh, as first and the last element as last. So we'll take two variables, first and last. So first element is present at zeroth location, and the last element is uh, present at sixth location. Okay, so we are going to uh, take the mid, mid is 30, okay? And as we know, uh, the key is 20, which is less than 30. So we are going to search on the left part of the array. If the key is, for example, 50, then we are going to search at the right part of the array. So we are calculating mid and checking if the element at mid position is greater than key or less than key. And depending upon that, we are either searching the left part of the array or the right part of the array. Okay, so let's try to implement uh, this logic uh, using binary search method. So I'm going to create a public uh, static. And uh, this is going to just print uh, if the element is found and at what location. So the return type will be void. And I'm going to call this method as uh, binary search. All right. And this method is going to accept multiple uh, parameters. So as, as I'm searching uh, my in array, so the first element will be uh, integer array. The second element will be an integer, uh, the location, which is first. So I'm going to call the location as first. And there will be one more uh, index, which will be called as last. So this signifies the location of the last element. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, integer key key is the element that I want to search. In our case, it will be 50. So key will be 50. Now let's try to uh, write the logic of uh, binary search. What we are going to do, uh, the base condition for binary search is we have to iterate over the array until first is less than or equal to last. Okay, so these are the two indexes and the condition is first uh, index is zero, last index is C. So whenever first is either less than or equal to last, until then we are going to iterate over our array, okay? So uh, to make our logic work, we are first going to calculate mid, mid. So how to call it, calculate mid? Integer mid equal to, it, it will always be your first location, which will be zero plus your last location, which will be six divided by two. In short, what we are doing, we are trying to find the mid of this array, okay? So the way to calculate it is mid equal to first plus last divided by two. Okay, uh, after finding mid, we are going to compare the element at mid with the key. So let's try to compare the element at mid with the key. So how to get element at mid, it's array. 
and the index which is mid if the element at mid is less than key what does this mean if element at mid is less than key so for example um, key is 50 and the element at mid is 30 so element at mid which is 30 is less than key that means we have to search in the right part of the array so how to search in the right part of the array our first instead of zero will become mid plus one okay so uh, the first index will become mid plus one so now first we'll point at this location which is 40 all right uh, so this is first condition where element at mid is less than key now the second condition will be uh, else if the element at mid is equal to key that means you found the element so else if arr of mid is if it is equal to equal to key that means for example if uh, the key would have been 30 so in that case 30 uh, is mid all right and it it is same as key in that case you found the element so if it is array of mid equal to equal to key then you can uh, print sys out element found at location and what is the location location will be your mid because you found the element at mid else which is your final condition so let me write this else condition uh, if it is not present in the right part of the array and uh, so it will be present in the left part of the array if it is not present in the right part of the array that means it is present in the left part of the array so how to uh, how to do that uh, to do that you are going to do uh, last equal to mid minus one so what that means instead of uh, pointing last to the last element we are pointing last to mid minus one so we are only targeting this array 10 and 20 okay now uh, while iterating over uh, over your array after this what we have to do is okay so we covered all the condition where uh, array of mid is less than key array of mid is equal to equal to key and array of mid is oh, greater than key okay all right so after iterating uh, if you come outside this while loop and if first is greater than last that means your first overtook the last index so your first which is zero and last which is uh, 60 so if your first is greater than last in that case you are going to just sys out element not found so whenever uh, first becomes greater than last then element is uh, not found in the array all right so just to summarize we are handling three condition here first is if key uh, if array of mid is less than key that means we are going to target the right portion of the array if it is equal to key that means we found the element otherwise we are going to target the left portion of the array so let's now uh, try to run this program to run this program we have to create an array integer uh, arr equal to and i am going to add uh, the elements that we added 10 20 30 40, uh, 50, and uh, 60. All right, so these are the elements. After that, I'm going to define key. So key can be anything uh, either from the elements in the array or not present in the array. So for me, I'm taking a key as 20, okay? And uh, we are going to define integer last. Last is going to be your array dot length. So it is going to be arr dot length. And uh, integer, uh, after this, it, it's not uh, it's not uh, integer first is not needed because we know it's zero so last will be uh, length minus one because uh, we know array starts from zero and ends at uh, length minus one location now i'm going to call my binary research method with array with uh, first which will be zero because our array starts with zero and then the last which is length minus one and then the key which is 20. so as we know 20 is present at zero one uh, which is second position so let's see mm, element found at location one okay so we missed something okay so we missed uh, this break condition you whenever the element is found you need to break your logic otherwise it will go in uh, infinite loop now if i try to run my code so let's element found at location one because uh, we know array zero based let's try to find a um, for example 60 
So 60 is present at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th position. So let me run element found at location 5. All right. And uh, if I just uh, print something, if I just take a key, which is 70, so we should get element is not found in the array. So we covered all the cases, element on the left part, element on the right part, and element not present in the array. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, it is working as expected. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And let us know in comment section that if you have any questions which were asked in your interview so that we can create videos around those questions and share with the audience. That's it, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.